Hello, hello, welcome back. My name is Shakia. I love to cloud watch. And today I practiced reconnection by allowing myself this space to sing without judgment. And what that did was it allowed me the space and freedom to mess up. And what that did was allow me the space and freedom to be creative, which in turn will allow me to, you know, solve problems in the future easier because I'm more creative. We're back with another video. This one is, again, part of this series called Hope and Expression. I interview you. You talk to me about your hopes and I share them. I don't think I realized the many different ways that a person could describe hope and feel it um, until I took on this project and started getting your responses. So much appreciation for your participation, both in answering the questions and in watching or listening. Today's hopes are shared by an Anon hopeful. I don't have water with me right now, but I do have a smoothie. Mm -mm -mm. So this one is uh, coconut, peanut butter, banana, and we're gonna get right into it. If you're new here, I have eight questions, three questions about hope, three about connection, and two about expression. So my first question is, what does hope feel like? The second question is, what's the last thing that you hoped for? And the third question is, have you ever lost hope? This Anon hopeful said that hope feels like your heart stopping in its tracks and waiting almost endlessly for it to finally start up in excitement or fall in disappointment. The last thing that they hoped for and still hope for is that their parents won't hate them for being different. And they said that they have lost hope many times. The next three questions are about connection. The first question is, is there someone you're hesitant in reaching back out to that you've lost connection with? The second question is, what happened from your perspective? What caused the disconnection? And the third prompt is to consider that last question, your response as a subjective truth, and to try to find an objective truth. This Anon hopeful stated that they are hesitant in reaching back out to someone, and that person's name is Max. For the explanation for the disconnection, they said, their friends, meaning Max's friends, got between our friendship after we had a slight thing happen between us, so I just unfollowed them all because I didn't want to deal with rude people, and she blocked me. For the objective truth, they said that that was a play-by-play -play of what happened. The next two questions are about expression. Expression is defined as the process of making known one's thoughts or feelings, or the way you convey a particular emotion. Some synonyms of expression, conveyance, illustration, demonstration, publicizing, dissemination, proclamation, <laughs> exhibition, publication, broadcast, embodiment, manifestation. The first question under this umbrella was, after your long life filled with hardships and love, what would you choose to come back as? A large and curious crow? A whale with a beautiful song? Or a tree with interconnected roots? This hopeful stated that they'd come back as a tree. And the last question was a three-parter, actually. So I'll, I'll go through this as question 8A, question 8B, and question 8C. 
Question 8a was, how do you communicate? Question 8b was, how do you express yourself? And question 8c is, do you find that you have to change how you communicate or how you express yourself in order to be understood by other people? They said that they said that if they need to talk about something difficult, they'd rather text or write to someone. But if they want to talk casually, they'd rather be face to face or on a call. As for expression, they absolutely love to draw anything from doodles on the side of a notebook to full out illustrations, both electronically and on paper. Um, they find that they haven't done it in a while because life's responsibilities has, you know, gotten in the way, but they know that they enjoy drawing out emotions and thoughts this way. Oh, before I forget, here are two examples of this hopeful's artwork. And here's also my Instagram and TikTok. We've made it to the end of another interview. Much appreciation to this Anon hopeful. I hope that you're doing well and this video finds you well. If you do want to take part of this um, interview and share your hopes, on my Instagram, there is a link uh, for Poll Junkie. And you can go over there, answer those questions anonymously or with your first name. I will speak to you all next time, hopefully. Until then, stay you, stay fly, and stay hydrated. <laughs> your brain will thank you. <laughs>